Hi again. Okay, now we have this force of 580 and the moment with respect to the point A. That's what we have to calculate. So we need two things, remember. Moment V R cross F. We need the force in Cartesian and we need a distance. That distance, I repeat this and repeat it because it's very important. It's from the point that I want to calculate the moment to any point in the line of action of the force. So in this case, that will be RAC. RAC, it can be easily calculated if we find the coordinates of C and the coordinates of A. The coordinates of A are 0, 0, 0. And the coordinates of C are, okay, if you come in the X direction, which is this, that will be 300 up to this point and 250 up to this point. So that will be 500, 300 plus 250. That will be 550. Coordinate C, 550 in the X direction. In the Y direction, it will be 400 because all of these lays in the same line, 400. And in the, in the Z direction now will be negative 200, negative 200. And this is millimeters. You can express it later on in meters if you want to. Now it's gonna be C minus A, meaning my position vector AC will be coordinates of C, which are those minus coordinates of A. So let's convert this into meters, dividing it by 1,000. So 0 0.55i plus 0 0.4j minus 0 0.2k. You already have these R in meters. Now we need the force. Now, these type of drawings, I really, 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 I'm gonna say hate is a very, very strong word, but I'm gonna say that I dislike them. Because the perspective here is, is very difficult to see. I don't know, you are trying to represent in a piece of paper, which is 2D, a 3D diagram. But what is happening here is this, you see, this part, is in the plane XY. So that will be something like this. Look, this is what you're seeing right there. But in reality, what is happening is this. This is the, the plane XY here, that 40. And the force is going downwards into the negative C axis here. So this will be the coordinate for C. And this angle here is 30 degrees. So we can calculate the unit vector for that. First, you need this line, this line. And that line is a projection that you have over there. That line will be this line, getting this and putting it to the top. That will be cosine 30 degrees. That line will be cosine 30 degrees. And now, once I project this line over the y-axis, I have to multiply again by 40 degrees. So I have to multiply that line, which is this value here. Now I multiply by cosine 40, and I will get that value over there. So this is cosine, cosine 30, cosine 40. Remember, cosine 30 is this. And this one will be the same cosine 30 multiplied by sine 40. And this one is the easiest one. This one is this value here. This. That is actually coming downward, meaning it's going to be negative. And it's going to be negative what? It's going to be negative negative sine 30. So let's check the directions again, the directions that we have in this case. So this one comes in the positive direction for x and y, meaning this is going to be positive, and this is going to be positive. If I want to go here, I have to do this. I have to do this, and I have to go down. 
positive, positive, negative. Positive, positive, negative, correct. And that will be the unit vector of the force. It's given by that. It's given by that. So the unit vector of the force will be in the x direction, which is this. That will be cosine 30, sine 40, i. And in the y direction, which is this one, will be cosine 30, sine 40, j. And this one will be negative sine 30, j. What do I do with this? I multiply this by the magnitude of the force. What is the magnitude of the force? 80 newtons. And what do we get if we do that? We get the force expressed as Cartesian. So our force expressed as Cartesian will be cosine 30 sine 40, the first part, cosine 30, close parenthesis, sine 40, close parenthesis, times 80, that will be the first value, 44.53. Now, cosine 30, sine 40, cosine 30, close parenthesis, sine 40, close parenthesis, times 80, that would be this, 44, well, I did the same thing, cosine 30, sine 40, yeah, I did the same thing, and this is cosine 30, cosine 40, in Y, cosine 40, why didn't you tell me, guys, cosine 40, I, I just happened, they got the same value here, and I got freaked out, cosine 40, here. cosine Cosine 40. Now it's different value, okay. 53.07j and sine 30 is 0.5 times 40, negative 40. Okay, and I have the force in newtons. Force in newtons. What do you do now? Moment of the force A with respect to the point uh, A will be. Uh, J, K, and then our R, 0 0.55, 0 0.4, negative 0 0.2, and our force, 44.53, 53.07, negative 40. And we do the cross product. How do we do the cross product? Let's do it again. Vector. I'm going to edit the first vector. Is dimension 3? Yes. What is the first value for vector 1? 0.55. The second value is 0.4. And the third value is, remember, use this negative sign, minus 0.2. We already have that. Perfect. Now we're going to edit our second vector, which is the force. Dimension 3, correctly. Now 44. 53.07 negative 40 negative 40 53 44 perfect and now we go to our vectors again and we do the math what math are we doing cross product what cross product we are doing the cross product of the first vector comma the second vector close parenthesis, done. And the value will be, what I'm reading from here, that moment will be negative 5.386 I 13.094 J 11.38 okay what are the units newton meter so if you need the magnitude of the moment square root of this square plus this square plus this square if you need direction 
of that? Well, then you calculate alpha, beta, and gamma. How? This divided by the magnitude of the moment that will be cosine alpha, take inverse cosine, and so on. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for learning. See you in the next video, or vice versa, better said. You will see me in the next video. Have a good day.